JMS Flower Farms has been helping grape growers protect their vines from insects and fungal diseases with their exclusive product, JMS Stylet Oil, since 1992. Visit www.stylitoil.com today. Hi, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Nut Producer Magazine, reporting to you from the 2015 Statewide Pistachio Day. Growers gathered here early this morning in Visalia for the day-long educational event. One of the keynote speakers featured UC plant pathologist Themis Michalidis, who discussed the identification and control of some of the top diseases hindering California pistachio production at this time. The Altenaria late blight develops in certain areas in pistachios that uh, due to uh, location or uh, due to cultural practices uh, develop uh, high humidity in the orchard and uh, this uh, fungus is uh, present uh, uh, throughout uh, any orchard. It's uh, uh, airborne, um, it can move around and uh, the alternator will infect uh, the leaves and uh, the food and uh, uh, causes uh, uh, defoliation as well as uh, infections of the food will cause uh, staining of the shell and uh, lowering the quality of uh, pistachios. So today I presented information to the growers how to control this disease and the best control will be to uh, combine both cultural uh, practices as well as uh, fungicide applications because either one alone cannot do it. So if we um, the best control for this disease is to um, reduce the humidity in the orchard and you can do that by increasing infiltration of the soil, by uh, 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 doing the right pruning to increase ventilation in the orchard and for the fungicide, uh, we have uh, fungicide applications, we have very effective fungicides uh, and uh, we recommend uh, that uh, they apply the fungicides uh, starting in June and end in July. We do not recommend any bloom sprays for this disease, nor uh, sprays in August, because those will be too late and the bloom sprays are not effective. So, um, I recommend also to the growers to uh, always visit the UC IPM site, where we have the uh, efficacy of fungicides tables, and they can get the most recent information for this disease. The other disease, the Butchosphere uh, panicle and sheet blight, it's a very old disease. Uh, uh, the first discovery was in 1984, and it spread quickly. And in, 19, uh, um, uh, in 1996, 1998, we had an epidemic of this disease. But the industry, the pistachio industry, had uh, uh, made a lot of emphasis on uh, support a lot of research and we uh, have found uh, ways to manage it and control it. And the best control for the uh, Butchosphere, which uh, attacks clusters, it attacks leaves, it attacks uh, uh, buds of uh, the trees, the best control is uh, of course the pruning of the infected tissues as, as much as, as possible and also a continuous uh, fungicide program. Uh, our research also developed a model, the uh, leaf weightness model, that helps the growers to reduce the number of fungicides they apply. For instance, we have uh, an example where uh, unsprayed trees develop 50% disease, eight calendar sprays reduce the disease to less than 5%, and we have uh, uh, applied only two sprays uh, in comparison with eight uh, calendar sprays, two sprays and we got the same level of disease, 5% uh, reduction. So uh, this is a good example where a model, uh, the leaf wetness model, which uh, shows uh, uh, the infection events that happen by this uh, particular pathogen, uh, uh, it shows that when we apply the fungicides at the right time, just before the rain or after the rain, when the infection event occurs, 
uh, we have very effective control of butcher stream. It's important to stay on top of disease control on our orchards with proper fungicide application timing and as Themis explained, understanding the conditions in which these diseases thrive so that we can take preventative measures to avoid the situation. Learn more about disease control and prevention by reading Pacific Nut Producer Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgNet.com.